There, there's some uh, 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 Vice thing, uh, uh, there, the, the, the special that I haven't watched yet, but the director of uh, Great Minds was telling me about it. Uh, uh, they, they used HIV to kill cancer. They like, you can modify HIV's protein structure so that it's a little noodle that it uses to plug into white blood cells, only plugs into cancer cells. And so they tried it on 20 kids with leukemia, and 18 of them are alive and cancer-free. I think I'm going to get some of this wrong. You're going to watch it or look it up and like, like go ahead and correct me. So but you can give cancer AIDS? <laughs> <laughs> can you imagine living in our lifetime where, where, where we not only cure cancer, but, but, but we use AIDS? <laughs> like, and it's not, and after, you, after, after, after you laugh at that, because it's like, oh, yeah, it's like when the raptors fought the, 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 the supersaurus or whatever. <laughs> It's 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 like it's like uh, I could have just said raptors tackled the T Rex at the Jurassic Park, but I don't know if these kids have seen Jurassic Park one. Um, a lot of 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 kids online decrying Westworld for they're, they're like this Crichton guy, you know this. So you know you're talking to a millennial uh, TV viewer when they're like exposing Michael Crichton's formulaic use of the oh that old dinosaur park idea recycled for your new cowboy show, eh? Ah. Fool me once, Mr. Crichton. <laughs> Oh, oh, you fucking star baby. <laughs> you fucking 25-year-old immortal little AI puke. I, I, uh, is it good? I've been out of town. I haven't seen it. I loved it. I, 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 I can't wait. It's going to be on again tonight. And uh, Yeah, we'll see how the series plays out. But uh, the pilot delivered uh, every, everything that I said I wanted. Because I was like, this should be a show about... Like creepy scientists living underneath a fake deadwood, where and because they deal with people that are just like so much more than sex dolls, so much more than t uh, sh uh, uh, target uh, practice, like these, they're creating life down there, but they're also creating it for the exact purpose of like using it hedonistically. So I want to see like weird polysexual, like, confused psychological people in lab coats having weird relationships with these nano, nano slabs that they then push up into this town and force to live on narrative loops uh, with it, it inspired by, like, uh, you know, what we've learned about that science from, like, video games and stuff and the new, new depiction of Westworld instead of it just being, like, James Brolin being like, come on, you can shoot him. Just go shoot him. It's like... It's so much more realistic the depiction of what it's like to like show up to Westworld because of we've played all these video games now where you've we've had to create those environments. So it's like you walk down the street and there's just like a guy going like who will who will step up and fight this varmint? You know, it's like like, like they're like talking and kind of they have narrative loops. Is, that is, they, is there a Yul Brynner bad guy in this one? Is, he, is, is there? Yes, but, but well, I don't want to. Uh, yes. Yes, but he's human. But so, so, and that just represents like the, the, everything's kind of inverted. Okay. So, like, like, like it's, it's it's a revisitation. Who's playing Richard Benjamin's eyebrows in, in this? I'm going to say you should just you should just watch it. I'll watch it. The pilot I'll... is definitely worth watching. It's a mind blower, um, and I, I hope the, I hope the series like uh, is can be can fill our uh, can fill our Game of Thrones uh, hole. Um, I, uh, <laughs> whatever. Okay, so I read. Whatever. Okay. Well, I also. Dan, uh, tonight I'm going to fill your Game of Thrones hole. <laughs> That's my promise.